Ghana, Ike Chuku. I thank God for giving me this privilege to be a chosen. Thank you, Father. I joined Chosen in 2012. I thank God for being a Chosen. I'm proud to be a Chosen. Thank you, Father. I want to appreciate this God, this good God where we are serving. Amen. I want to appreciate Please, him. testify, hold on. Let us read from the Bible. John chapter 5. Verse 14. John chapter 5, verse 14. Please open your Bible to John chapter 5, verse 14. This is instruction from the office of daddy. John chapter 5, verse 14. It says, Afterwards, Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, Thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Let me read it again. John chapter 5, verse 14. This is instruction from Daddy Gio that I should read this. Afterwards, Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, Thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Amen. Please start your st testimony afresh. The last testifier for today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate this good God. So, when it, December time, as Daddy is praying for us, and the clear miracle alert for, for us all the time, we are claiming it, claiming it, claiming it. One day, hmm. this good God won't give me my own miracle alert in a bunch of the money. In a bunch of money. That is cash. Cash was given to you, is that right? Yes. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This God will give me a miracle alert of 200,000 naira. Bam. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Hey, hey, this God is so good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to appreciate this God once again because I want to travel. As I don't say why I go to village last. So as I'm preparing the travel, if you like say I will go, if you like see no, you no go be possible for me. I'm trying and trying and trying. Before the alert came, I said, okay, this God, you are a good God. Yes. So. That was how the miracle alert came and the journey became possible. Yeah. So Let's clap up to God and appreciate him. On last day, on last Thursday, before Holy God can do this program, as Daddy was praying for us, he says somebody is prepared to travel after the program. God will give you favor. Yes. Go I and receive your favor. When yes. they travel, I come back. It's okay. I claim it. When I was, uh, when I go to village, honestly, favor all round. Amen. From me. Praise the Lord. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him. Favor all round for her. Using praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pray for my daddy. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. But all I know is that this God who called my pastor to come and help us and save us for this world, 
This God will be with him. Amen. This God will sustain my daddy. Amen. This God will sustain my family. Amen. This God will bless them with the blood of Jesus. Amen. All the days of his life. Amen. This God will be with him in the name of Jesus. Amen. For the chosen worldwide all over the whole world. I pray for heaven at last for all of us, including me and my family in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Amen. I want to remind you that a woman was afflicted and she came and cried unto God. And our pastor spotted her case in a word of knowledge. I said, you that woman that has been afflicted and troubled by evil people, fire is coming to that place today. And the woman claimed it and said it is her. And when she got home, she called her children and said, let us pack all our things out because fire is coming here today. And the people in the yard were looking at her as if, is something wrong with this woman? How can you be packing your things and be saying fire is coming? Which fire? They didn't see any fire coming. But the sister has believed the word of her pastor and said that thing that pastor said is coming today. And she packed her things. And behold, in about 8 o'clock, Nepa took light. And after one hour, by the time Nepa brought back light, and the children shouted, Up, Nepa! Behold, fire started everywhere. And fire burned the whole compound down, except her own room. Her room was spared. Nothing touched her room. Amen. Now, believe the word of our pastor. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe also his prophet, so shall you prosper. He's about to speak now. Every word that he will speak and every prayer he will pray, it will be exactly as he prays it. So your situation is about to receive total change.